Everything around me looks a little gray Ever since you found out, worry about my brain I just need a time, and I'll probably just explain It's okay, babe, baby, it's okay Got a lot of words you don't know how to say Pull out all your big ones, tryna flip my face I give you a big hug, say I'm feeling great Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Jamie and I post videos every Sunday. Today I'm sharing a few restaurant and cafe recommendations in Melbourne. You might be thinking like, what the heck Jamie, don't you live in Perth now? And you are 100% correct. I am making this video because I recently found all this footage on my hard drive and realized I had never <laughs> uploaded these videos. I just, I couldn't let the footage go to waste. I really hope you enjoy the recommendations. Please Please let me know in the comments if you've been to any of these places. I'd love to know your thoughts. Anyway, let us get on with the rest of the video. Starting with Tori's Cafe, which is tucked away in a laneway in the CBD. It has amazing cakes and desserts and their display always looks amazing. I really love their drinks. I've had their matcha and hojicha lattes and they were delicious. The cafe interior is so cozy with couches and armchairs. It has a real rustic and vintage feel. I felt like I was on the set of Friends when I was sitting on one of the couches. And this cafe definitely gets busy and the line is often out the door and seats fill up quick so keep that in mind moving on to hops bagels i used to live in the area and absolutely loved living so close to these bagels their savory and sweet bagels are delicious with so many great options you can customize your bagels which is great or go with their set options also their coffee is so yum their oat latte is one of my favorites in all of melbourne and there's always a huge line but i promise it's worth it this little cafe is just down the road from Hoff's Bagels and I absolutely love their croissants and pastries. Their almond croissant was my favorite and their service was always so friendly and I really miss living so close to Coco's. They also have a coffee takeaway window which I always appreciated and is so great when you're on the go. Labajo is also a Japanese inspired cafe located in North Melbourne in a warehouse. Classic Melbourne vibes. They bake their own bread and oh my god, their shokupan, which is Japanese milk bread, is delicious. I also love their dirty fries, their sandos, and their strawberry shortcake. I love this place. I absolutely loved going to this Carnegie spot and I know there's also one on Flinders Lane. I absolutely love the crepes and coffee. I gravitate to more of the sweeter crepes and I especially love the Lady Petrova with strawberries and Nutella. I also loved the Biscoffoli which had Lotus Biscoff spread, ice cream, crushed pistachios, chocolate and raspberry. Kalia was a regular spot for my husband and I when we wanted some reliably good Japanese food. We always went to the one in Chadston, but there's also one located in Emporium. I especially love their purple sweet potato latte, their sukiyaki bowl, which was the marbled wagyu slices with mirin sauce and a 63 degree egg. I'd often make it a set so I could also get the salad and miso soup on the side. I loved their desserts, especially the burnt hojicha cheesecake. I couldn't not include my favorite local cafe in this video. This is Spilt Milk, also located in guess where, Carnegie. Shout out to Spilt Milk, it was the sweetest family business and I loved their coffee takeaway window which I always frequently went to. They also launched a new food menu and their Korean bulgogi beef toasty in particular was fire. 
The 1985 cafe is a cute little cafe located in Clayton South. It's a cafe where I would often go and set up with my laptop and have hojicha and matcha lattes. It's a perfect spot for a beverage and a little treat. They have lots of cute and unique cakes like taro tiramisu, a lychee rose crepe cake and matcha red bean shortcake. I definitely recommend if you're a local in the area to check it out. As a Filipino, I was so excited to try out Sarai Kitchen. I've actually never eaten at a fancy Filipino restaurant before because, you know, if I wanted Filipino food, I would just go to my mom's house. The food and cocktails at Sarai Kitchen were both delicious. We especially love the calamari, the sinagag, which is the garlic clay pot rice with duck yolk, and the lechon, which is the Western Plains free range pork belly, and it was served with smoky pineapple palapa. This was such a nice date night spot, and I'd highly recommend. I'm so excited about this recommendation. Bounty of the Sun is tucked away in Balaclava. This was literally the first time I was ever in the area and the food was amazing. The menu is full of small Japanese plates that are designed to share. We had the oysters, the spicy tuna, the kingfish sashimi. Oh god, the kingfish sashimi. Jesus. The shoestring fries, the wagyu tataki, the prawn toast, the agadashi tofu, the chicken wing karage. Oh my god, you know, your girls had a feast. Whether you're a local or a tourist, this one is worth venturing out for. Tippy Tay is a beautiful Italian restaurant. We had the bread with the burrata to share and I ordered the lasagna and oh my god, two people can share this. It was delicious and so incredibly filling. If you're a fan of hot pot, you have to visit Panda Hot Pot in Carlton. The venue is absolutely massive. It is like no other. There is literally a 1.5 ton floating dragon suspended from the ceiling, which is honestly such a showstopper. It is completely decked out and there was even a performance during our meal. They offer nightly performances, which range from face changing shows, music performances, Chinese traditional dance as well as panda shows it's honestly such a memorable experience you can order set menus or a la carte and they also have a bunch of different options for your dipping sauce and they also have drink options as well you definitely need to make a booking so get in quick Now, Roti and Roti is a small family business based in Glen Huntley. I think this is a great place if you are a local in Melb and already live near the area and just want some consistently delicious and affordable Malaysian food. Again, this is a restaurant my husband and I always used to go to. We especially love the nasi lemak, the roti, the Taiwanese fried rice, and the dessert, especially the roti pisang. So just letting you know, this place does not have any aesthetic this is not a cute date night spot but who cares because the food is it and the service is so friendly for dessert i love quarry ice cream it's one of my favorite ice cream spots and this is located on glen ferry road in hawthorne it is inspired by the japanese kawaii culture and the hyper pop movement they have such unique flavors including 24 fresh flavors in store every day including eight plant-based so for example, they have yuzu, fuji apple, nashi pear, matcha pistachio, Hokkaido cheesecake. Oh my god, do I need to go on? They get pretty busy, but it's worth the line in my opinion. So that is a wrap on the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really supports my channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.